This is the first in a series of videos for primary schools on implementing National Curriculum 2014. This time we're focusing on long-term planning. If we want to make sure that children get the full range of experiences in the National Curriculum, it's really important to have a long-term plan that everyone in school agrees to follow. In the next five minutes, I want to talk about the important features of a long-term plan and how it can be adapted to meet the needs of your school. Some schools worry that long-term planning for a single subject can be too prescriptive and limit teachers' creativity, particularly if they are using a topic-based approach. But that really shouldn't be the case. In essence, a long-term plan provides an overview for each key stage. It shows which aspects are to be taught in each term and states what the focus for children's learning should be according to their age. What children design, make and evaluate, and how this links to other subjects or topics, is a matter for class teachers, with guidance where needed from the subject leader. Without a long-term plan, there's a real risk that children's learning is repeated from one year to the next, or there are gaps in what they are taught, or there could be a lack of progression in their learning. If your school doesn't have a separate long-term plan for d &T, that's okay as long as you're able to include a framework in your school's curriculum map that clearly sets out what children will be learning as they move through school. In order to move the subject forward, there are some new elements to consider in the national curriculum. However, it's important to be aware that the new programs of study have been designed to build on existing good practice in Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2. This means that for many schools, curriculum planning will require adaptations rather than a complete overhaul in order to include the new requirements. We suggest that schools think about the following principles when reviewing, revising or developing a long-term plan. First, aim to carry out one d and project per term. In other words, six projects in Key Stage 1 and 12 projects in Key Stage 2. Make sure that each term's project addresses a particular aspect of the subject. At Key Stage 1, these are mechanisms, structures, food and textiles. And at Key Stage 2, mechanical systems, electrical systems, structures, food and textiles. To give a basic progression, identify the focus for children's learning in each project you are undertaking. For example, the focus for a Key Stage 1 project on textiles is templates and joining techniques. Divide your long-term plan into two-year blocks, Key Stage 1, Early Key Stage 2 and Late Key Stage 2. As long as projects are covered within the two-year blocks, they can be taught in any order. This means that projects can be matched with termly topics and links can be made with other subjects, such as science, maths, art um, or English. For mixed-age classes, use a two-year rolling programme where all the children complete Year A and then Year B at the same time. Where the whole of Key Stage 2 is taught in one class, consider using a four-year rolling programme. Teach two mechanisms projects in Key Stage 1, one on sliders and levers and the other on wheels and axles. This will ensure the necessary prior learning for mechanical systems projects in Key Stage 2. Build the requirements for cooking and nutrition in each key stage into projects on food. And finally, to fulfil the new cooking and nutrition requirements, carry out one project with food per year. Think carefully about which term is chosen for each D&T project to take advantage of the local circumstances of your school. For example, in Year 1, are the projects the best ones to build on children's learning in the early years foundation stage? Are projects located in particular terms in order to use the expertise and interests of class teachers? Do the terms identified for projects link to the content of topics? And are projects linked to periods during the year such as seasons, festivals or celebrations? When developing a long-term plan, it's important to map connections between d and and other subjects. For example, children's knowledge and understanding in science is often closely related to their d and projects. In Key Stage 1, children's knowledge of simple physical properties of materials can help them select the textiles they'll use in a coat for Teddy. And in Key Stage 2, using their understanding of electricity can help them design and make 
a battery-powered nightlight. Where there are significant links of this type, it would be advisable to move the DNT project into a term which draws on the equivalent learning in science. Similarly, some DNT projects have a particular bias towards maths, art and design, or computing. Finally, there's an example long term plan for Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2 available as a free download from the website. Just search for Example Long Term Plan from the home page. Good luck with your long term planning.